haven't seen that? Did you watch it? Yeah. Oh, shit. That was awesome. Where was my invite? How? How have you not seen shit? Dude, I felt like I was on a fucking roller coaster there, dude. Holy shit. How the fuck have you not seen that movie? Uh, it's so good. So I, 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 I. Hey there, everybody. Thanks for listening to another episode of YHST. I'm one of your hosts, Mr. Cockerham, the high school teacher. And Tony got drunk on a Wednesday. (laughs) (laughs) I'm fucking hungover, man. I'm hungover. Are you struggling? Yeah, bro. Dude, I don't know why we decided to just go out and drink on a Wednesday. Yeah. Or me, I should say, really, because I was the only one that was like... It's Wednesday. Let's me just drink all the beers. There were other people we were with that was also going hard in yeah. the paint. You weren't the only one. But goddamn, I got home. I had the hiccups and shit. It was a whole thing. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's always a bad sign when you have the hiccups. And it was, yeah, it was rough. Yeah. I don't you know. Look, you look good. Thanks, man. You look pretty good. Yeah, it took a while to shake it. Do you have like a, like a recovery? No, I usually just let it go. You just eat it? Yeah. You don't have like a concoction you make or a certain kind of food that you're like, this will be a cure-all. No. Really? You've never been that kind of guy? I know. I never really found anything that helped. Hmm. Like even if I take a like a bunch of Advil or something, I still feel like shit. Hmm. Have you ever done like nasty shit with like concoctions, like pickle juice concoctions? No. Dude, I've done that stuff where you take like... I take like bacon and bacon grease and pickle juice and then hot sauce and you mix that shit together and slam it. Ugh. You know why it works? Because it makes you barf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. Well, what are we watching? Today, yeah. we are watching my pick. Yeah. A Clockwork Orange. Oh my God, I'm so excited. You should be excited, you turd. No, I'm not. Why? Because. You liked The Shining. I just have a feeling, man. I have a feeling with this movie. I already know what it is. Like you don't know what it is. I you do. literally don't you know nothing about this There's movie. There's gonna be a lot of like innuendos. There's gonna be a lot of like unanswered questions. There's gonna be a lot of like awkward scenes where nobody really talks, but they look into a camera and they like kind of look <laughs> at you weird and then it pans away. And then there's gonna be scenes where there's like 38 people in one room, but nobody's really saying anything, but at the same time, they're saying something. Yeah. And then it's going to (laughs) end. You heard it here. You heard the premise here. (laughs) What's the one-liner? Well, let me give it to you. Yeah. Now now you're on the hot spot, because I didn't have it last week. Okay. And A Clockwork Orange. This movie is rated X. Yeah, we should talk about that. 1971. Uh, In the future, a sadistic gang leader is imprisoned and volunteers for a conduct aversion experiment but it doesn't go as planned uh, uh guess who's in this malcolm mcdowell who is the guy who plays um in michael myers movies he plays uh um the guy who god fucking i hate when imdb is like do you want to make an account and i'm yeah. like no i don't want to account man <laughs> i just want to peruse um he did, oh, he was Dr. Uh, um, Dr. Dr. Loomis, who's Michael Myers' doctor. Ends up trying to, like, follow Michael Myers around, even though Michael Myers is broken out, and Dr. Loomis is the only guy that can bring Michael Myers back into the penitentiary system. Mm. You've seen this guy before. Let me see him. Oh, yeah, I know that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's the main character, but it's in the 70s, so it's a long time ago. Yeah. Rated X. That's weird, huh? That's a weird thing. I don't know if I've ever watched a movie that was rated X. Hmm. What makes it rated X? Um, well, like I said in the last episode. R word. There's definitely a, a lot of like rape scenes that are in it, um, which that's ends up be a being yeah, a, huge bu- a huge bummer. Yeah. Huge bummer. That's probably going to be part of the reason that makes me uncomfortable. Have you ever seen the, uh, the movie... I feel like this is going to be an uncomfortable movie that we're going to watch. Yeah, why are we watching this? Because I read the book. So watch it on your own. No, I watched these movies with you. Okay. (laughs) Every time I pick a movie, it's fun. (laughs) Every time you pick a movie, it's a fucking bummer. (laughs) 
That's not true. Yes, it is. I don't know how true that is. Every time. You've never picked a fun movie. Never. Nope. Big Lebowski. <laughs> that's it? That's it. Really? Yeah, you always pick stuff. You like, like Jingle All the Way. Was that okay, a bummer? Okay, that was a fun movie. That was a fun movie. Okay. You picked, during Christmas time, you picked... The greatest Christmas movie ever. A sad, bummer movie. It's not a sad, bummer movie. It's got a happy ending. There's no way this piece of shit has a happy ending. You don't think so? No way! I don't think it has a happy ending. No. I read the book. Although, the book ends kind of kind of happy. Yeah, uh, I don't Kind of happy. Seems like one of those culty, like... Stanley Kubrick. Bummer movie. He's a good director. Like, the guy knows how to make a movie, right? He knows how to piss off Steven Spielberg. King. King. Stephen King. Stephen King. See, you don't even know. All right, Richie guy. <laughs> He's know. my favorite director, Richie guy. I don't know. You don't fucking know. <laughs> True. No, I mean, it's, yeah, I, there's no way I'm going to like this. Really? Yeah. See, why do you do that? Why do you go into a movie being like, I ain't going to like this? Because every time I do that, I'm right. That's not true. Yeah. That's not true. Yeah. You thought you weren't going to like Pig, and then you sat down and watched it, and you kind of liked it. Yeah, and then you talked me out of it. Now I don't. See, now I talked to somebody not too long ago about it Yeah. who had watched it. Yeah. I kind of like it again now. Okay. You're so... I don't know. With you and like these movies and fucking the prestige and shit, like you know what it is? What? Oh. You know what it is? What? You got bad taste in movies. <laughs> no, 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 You got a bad taste in movies. I don't think so. Yep. That's what you think. Uh huh. See Yeah, because you liked fucking Ghostland of the Prisoner or whatever. See, when a group of dumb people try to tell a smart person that they're that the smart person is dumb. That's what you're doing right now. You're saying that... I think you're a dummy. The group of my friends who agree with me that The Prestige no is a great movie. No one agrees with you. Every, dude, everybody that's seen The Prestige except for you yeah. likes it. Yeah. Because you like dark and fucking mysterious Dude, bullshit. and that movie is dark too. What? The Prestige. It has dark yes. attributes to it. I get it. Yeah, but you like... David Bowie's in it, right? Like That's cool. You like movies without stories. What do you mean I like movies yeah, without you like, stories? You like movies that don't make sense. That's not and true then at are, all. And like, make you feel like you're artistic. No, I like your dumb movies like... Uh, no, fuck you. You have a bad taste in movies. I don't think so. Yep, yeah, you no, do. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. you do. Let's yep. solve this here right now. Okay. Right quick. All I'm right. going to bring up the episodes that we've done uh -huh. and the movies we've watched okay. and determine on if I have stinky movie picks. Because <laughs> this is bullshit. That's what I got to say about that. Uh -huh. Jingle All the Way. Pretty good. They Live. That's a good movie. No. A lot. I'm not the only one that thinks that. There's not other people movie. that thinks that. I picked... Pig? Did I pick Pig? No, Pig was a new movie. Oh, new movie. New movie. Um, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles was my pick. Teddy's. Jeez, I'm all over the place. The Shining. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. Halloween Kills, not good. Bad. Also not your fault. Also new. True Romance. Bad. <laughs> not good. <laughs> Big Trouble in Little China. Bad. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, dude. You got stupid, stinky taste of movies. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. You're right. That's, that's not, not fair. That's not nice. That's not nice. That's not nice. So how is the book? Um, it's um, so like people love the book because Anthony Burgess, who wrote it, um, wrote it with like he created this whole different like nuanced language in it. Okay. So as you read it, you're obviously reading English because it's printed in English, but it's like slang English. But it's not like any slang that was used in the 1960s. He created this like futuristic slang. Oh, kind of like um, uh, like Peter, J no, like um, J. Tolkien. Oh, yeah, he yeah. Created, like, See, but Tolkien created, Tolkien created languages. Uh, Anthony Burgess ended up using like, like a slang version of English and oh. incorporate it. Like, um, like instead of saying, like, uh, 
uh, when they talk about like someone's mouth because they're like punching people in the mouth and stuff. Okay. Like just hammering on people. Yeah. Just decking, just <laughs> stomping on people. They'll say that they were like stomping on their rot. On, on their ro- a rot. Oh. Their rot. Not and their rod. No, no, not their <laughs> 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 Their rot. Gotcha. And, uh, and then that's your mouth. So that's like a slang term. So he created all these different words and these slang words and incorporated into the book. Mm. And people are like, oh, my God, this is so amazing. And do you remember like what year or do they say what year it's supposed to be taking place in? I don't think they ever address what year. It's, it's just in the, the future. The future. Definitely like in the 21st century, I think. Okay. 22nd century. All right. It's, it takes place like if... I think if the Cold War went the other way and Russia took over everything and, like, Nazi Germany ended up, like, rising up through the ring. So it has, uh, like, this, like, fascism that's applied to it. Like alternate reality? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, it's like a dystopian. It's like what happens if the world would have been changed just over the course of, you know, small events that took place. Yeah, pretty wild, right? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I mean, that seems like a cool premise, but, like, I don't understand. Like, everything that you've said so far seems cool. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why we've got to do rape scenes. Well, so that's, you're right. I, I don't really understand that. Um, other than the fact that, like, the world is, like, condoning and allowing what they refer to as ultraviolence. And ultraviolence is, like, murder, rape, um, yeah, uh, right. like, sadistic stuff, you know what I mean? And these, like, young kids, like, the main character is only 15 years old, supposed to be in, in, in the book. I don't know what's going to be like in the movie. Okay. But he's doing all the sadistic, terrible, awful things at like this young age because society has like failed people and communities and allowed this behavior to exist and be okay. Oh. I think. I mean, it doesn't sound bad anymore. Really? Yeah. I think there's a lot of good fight scenes. There's like some some gangs like I I feel like this is going to be what the warriors should have been. Oh. Like I like the warriors. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But there's a level of like goofy theatrics that yeah, go it's with like, it, uh, right? You know, yeah. And I think that a Clockwork Orange is kind of like it's like the dark Warriors. the Warriors. Yeah, yeah. I think. Okay. That's what I'm hoping for. If, right. if I get that, I'm gonna be a happy camper. Sure. I I'm mean, so excited for this movie. Yeah, let's go watch it, bro. Okay, catch you on the other side. This episode is brought to you by Hemp Streets. Hemp Streets is an online boutique for all things CBD. CBD is a fantastic, non-psychoactive substance that is legal in all 50 states. That makes CBD safe and effective for a daily regimen. That's just it, man. We need a little bit of simplicity in our crazy lives. That's why Hemp Streets makes buying CBD simple and convenient. Hemp Streets has a diverse selection of products. We got soaps. We got gummies. We got oils. We got cartridges. We have pre-rolls and so much more. Shop for your CBD at HempStreets.com. And at checkout, you can use the promo code HOOK and receive 15% off. That's 15% off your entire purchase when you check out at HempStreets.com. Now, now let's, let's get, get back, back to, to the, the fucking, fucking show. show. And that was Clockwork Orange. What a bummer, huh? Mm, yeah, what a bummer indeed. That is a bummer. I'll say that it is a bummer of a movie. There's no happy part to that movie. You know, when I first started reading this book, and that all those all those things that you saw in the movie, they happened very, very quickly. Yeah. All of that ultra violence. And when those things happened, and I realized that the main character was the guy who was doing all this stuff, dude, I was so mad. I was like, Alex better get fucked up. Like, this kid better get it. Yeah. Like, I wanted him to get it. And then somewhere in the book, you don't, you know, you don't condone Alex's behavior, obviously. But at some point in the book, I realized there's something else going on. There's some some type of like nasty underworld that's happening, and they're using this kid as an example. And I didn't like that. Like you felt bad for him. Yeah. And and I think that that's I think that's okay. I think that you can I'm most certainly not condone behavior like that. However, also feel bad for somebody who's being taken advantage of within this system. Because everybody's bad in that movie. Right. Everybody's bad. Yes. There are no good people. No. Even the, even the, uh, um, um, the social worker. Yeah. He gets down by Alex while he's getting his ass beat by the police officers in the interrogation room, and the social worker spits on him. Right. Just like, you're nothing. 
you're fucking nothing. Yeah. And you're just like, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Yeah, that whole movie's a fucking bummer. It's a bummer. Yeah. Man, shot though, if I do dare, cinematography. How dare you? Immaculate. Like the filming. Take away anything about the story, the plot, the characters, the filming. Amazing. Mm. Amazing. The set design. Amazing. Mm -hmm. The architectural homes and prisons. Amazing. Okay. So good. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't feel bad for him at all. Like, I don't know if that came across more in the book. Mm. But he was such an unlikable fuck. Yeah. That it, I never felt bad for him or really was that interested in what happened to him. Yeah. It's hard to, it's hard to like a movie where the main character's a piece of shit. Yeah. I didn't like any of the characters. Like, I didn't get a, uh, like an attachment to anybody. Everybody sucks. Yes. Everybody sucks Everybody in those sucks. movies. He sucks. It, his friends suck. Even the, you know who also sucked? The actors. Who came on stage to prove that Alex had been reformed? They sucked. They sucked too. Yeah. The people that like were hired by the state to walk out and be like, "Watch, he can't do anything when I try to uh, uh, put my body in front of him." And, and he, then they acted you know? like that was their grand performance. Yeah, they were like, "Thank you and good day." Thank you. you know, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Every every single person in that movie is hateable. So, yes. Yeah. And I think that's the point, though. That's the point of the movie. You shouldn't like anybody. If you like anybody in that movie, you probably got some screws loose. Well, then that's the thing, though, right? Is like, what's the point of making everyone hateable? Um, like, if you can't grow attachment to any characters, and mm-hmm. I'm not saying you can't, but I didn't, then you really don't care about them, and then you really don't care what happens to them. Like, that doesn't seem like a good way. Because then... Like, by proxy, I don't really give a shit about the story at that point. Because, mm. like, I don't, okay. I don't like him. Yeah. I don't like his parents. I don't like the social worker. Dude, the mom sucks. Yeah, I don't like the people that work at the fucking jail. I don't like Joe. I don't like anybody. <laughs> I don't like Joe either, yeah, dude. Joe's a scumbag, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then it's like, it's yeah. like, well, okay, so I don't really like him. I don't mm-hmm. like the doctor. I don't like the uh, governor or guy or whatever. The police officer, too? The, uh, yeah. uh, the correctional officer? Yeah. That guy's a dope. Yeah. So then it's like, well, I don't really care what happens to you. Mm. And then you start looking into it from a thing where, like from a point of view where it's like, okay, he's a really bad person. Mm-hmm. And then he goes to jail. Mm-hmm. And then they do really bad things to him. Mm-hmm. And then they fix him mm-hmm. and turn him back to normal. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, well, then what the hell's the point of this? But... Do they turn him back to normal? Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, but he's like, I mean, you, I mean, so, so that's the thing that I liked about the movie is it, it doubled down on like, it didn't fix him because he goes into he goes into the house and then of the home where he had committed the rape and like fucked up that husband and everything, right? And then he's sitting in the bath and he starts singing that song. Because he's finding enjoyment in it. Like, it's bringing him back, and it's an excited bringing him back. Mm. So he never changed. They didn't really fix him. No, but they, like, brainwashed him to get sick when he thought about things that he enjoyed. Right, right. Right. But then, this is what I... And then he jumps out of the window. Because he can't take the music. Sure. And then... Symphony, symphony number nine. Who were those people that were asking the questions? Uh... What people? The people that were sitting down with the guy in the wheelchair asking him the questions. Oh, so that's supposed to be like the super duper liberals that want to like overthrow that of the government and they want to be able to use Alex and how bad of a. So then they want to kill him? They don't expect to kill him. They just want to, they want to mess his brain up. And then through that process, what he ends up doing is committing suicide. Right. I think they just wanted to torture him and just ruin him and then be like, look at what the government did. And it's like, well, you had a part in it too, bud. Right. But what he ends up doing is obviously jumping out of the window. And then the governor, mayor, whatever guy comes back and he's like, we're friends. Well, he's like, 
we're cool, right? Yeah. And Alex is like, I don't know. What are you going to do for me? He's like, we're going to start paying you on a monthly basis. Alex is a dipshit. Why? Because he just, like, anybody, he attaches himself to people, and then they always fuck him over, and he keeps doing it over and over again. Yeah, yeah. Alex is a dipshit. That was the one thing that um, was interesting to see was that Alex and George, his, one of his drogues, drugs, drogues, I think is his buddies, right? Yeah. He's like, we want to do other crimes. We want to do big crimes. And he's like, screw you. We're not doing big crimes. I make all the decisions. And then they sit down to eat and he's like, so what kind of big crimes do you want to do? Yeah. And then that's how he gets busted, you know, right. by the cops. Like, you're an idiot. Yeah. How about like the like perversion of the writer? Why is everything boobs and penises? Uh, it doesn't. No, 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 no. So it doesn't read like that. Oh, so it's Stanley Kubrick. That's Stanley Kubrick. Just throwing dongs and boobies everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Highly sexualized really unnecessary. society. I mean, the book is obviously like a very sexually intense driven thing. I see why it was rated X in the 1970s. Sure. This movie is kind of horrific to watch. Yeah. There's parts where I'm like, I don't... Really uncomfortable. Yeah, very uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And then we started That's, farting and it got funny. That was fun. <laughs> we had a little fart a thon, man. Yeah. I know I didn't get like it just felt so unnecessary all the overly sexualized things in the movie. I mean it felt like, like he kills that lady with a giant ceramic penis. <laughs> like what are we doing here? And and it's not just him that's got all the pictures of the girls. Every house you go into has the over sexualization of Women and mm -hmm. dongs and mm -hmm. like. So here's my thing. This is what makes things spooky to me. This is why I kind of like this story in this this movie, is because man, open up a social media account right now, like pay attention to like what's on TikTok and Instagram, highly sexualized images and videos and pictures. I th I think we see a society that Stanley Kubrick and Anthony Burgess created in the 70s and 60s, like we do today in a lot of ways. Well, that's very philosophical of you. I don't know. That's what I took from it. Okay, cool. As I as my tie dye shirt blends into the tie dye <laughs> yeah, of the back, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm camouflaged. You're dude. right at home. <laughs> right at home. No one can see. You're wearing me your hippie camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, no, but I mean, as like an overall score, mm -hmm. I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hated that movie. I hated every minute of it. Like, we, we paused to, to use the bathroom at like 38 minutes, and I was like, I cannot believe there's an hour and a half left yeah. of this. More than that. It felt like the longest movie I ever watched in my life. It was a it was a long movie for sure. Two hours There's and fifteen so minutes. There's so much unnecessary <clears throat> shit. There's so many slow shots that's just like speed mm. it the fuck up. Yeah. They could have cost cut forty five minutes off that thing. You you know how you know how you used to watch movies and then go go take tests in middle school so that you could pass them? Yeah. And because the movie paired with the book well and you were good, you never even had to read the book? Yep. That's what this movie is. If you had to take a reading comprehension book on A Clockwork Orange written by Anthony Burgess, yeah. just watch this movie, sit down, you'd fucking ace it. Right. You would you'd ace the themes, the characters, the important aspects of it. It's like and I think Movies that do that aren't movies that try to do justice to the book ends up doing a little wrong to the movie. Mm. Right? Yeah. Like, like it's not as interesting to see these things as it is to read them. I love Sorcerer's Stone. Sure. Solid movie. Great movie. Out of the series of Harry Potter, most certainly not the best. No one's movie. saying no one's yeah no one's no. saying Sorcerer's Stone Sor <laughs> Sorcerer's Stone movie mm -hmm. is the best. No one's saying that. No. No one's on the market saying that right now. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's because that movie is word for word as the book. Right. You look at the other movies, they're not word for word for the book. No. It it carries the themes. There's some liners, right? There's some there's some little like zippers in there where you're just like, oh, that made me cry when I read that book. Right. But at the end of the day, it creates its own world. Right. 
And I think when you try to model movies with the book, it doesn't always work out. So, is that a plane? Dude, it's about to fall <laughs> on your house. So, yeah, as a person who read the book and watched the movie, mm -hmm. do you think that the movie did it any level of justice? I know that you mentioned, I don't know if that was before we sat down, mm -hmm. that you say it kind of filled in some gaps as far as theme and things like that. But if you had to say the book or the movie, what was a better experience? Um, the movie was better than the book. Ugh, Jesus. <laughs> Man, no wonder it took you seven months to read that pile of shit. The language was hard, man. The language was really hard to get through. And that, in the that'll book. take you out of it, too. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of different things. And I don't know, I don't think that the overall theme of the movie was bad necessarily. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of things. They're using that weird slang that you were talking about. Yeah. Also, we have British accents. Yeah. Which makes it very hard to understand what anybody's saying throughout the entire movie. I can't watch a British Every, movie right e now. Everybody is screaming in the movie. A lot of screaming. Everybody's yelling. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. Hey, hey, old chocolate. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Stop. Do you want your chai tea, yeah? Yeah. 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 Hey, sir, <laughs> ma'am, missus. Fucking A. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. And then... <laughs> chip, chip, cherry, <laughs> oh. And then all the characters are so unlikable. Yeah. It's like there's too much stuff for me to be, like, interested at all. Yeah, that, that, like the, that's the, a difficult. The, the, the thing about, like, he's a bad person. Mm -hmm. He went to jail. We're going to take him in, try to cure him. It's a bad thing. Like, that's not bad necessarily as far as, like, a story is concerned. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting topic. Right. But I think all that other shit, and just the sheer amount of wieners in this movie. Mm -hmm. There's too many fucking peepees. A lot of nipples. Too many. What are we doing? Like, I don't know. It just seems... Whitey like, tidies. A lot of, that whitey tidy scene's rough to watch. Yeah, it's <laughs> tough. There's a lot of tough <laughs> shit. That's a bad movie. <laughs> It's not a bad movie. It's, just it's a, a bad tough, movie. It's, tough. it's, it's a tough. bad movie. So, well, what did we say that um, it, it was is crazy? It is uh, 8.3 on IMDb. Christ. Mr. Tony Marini, over or under? This, I mean, this is as close to a zero as it oh can be. Oh my god. Okay, so under. Under. Okay, you said what you said. No, I didn't say over. I'm saying over. Yeah, of course you over. Were. Because you like fucking bad movies. I'm not saying a lot over. I'm just saying over. Do you know how high 8.3 is? And you have the audacity to say over? Yeah, I'm going to say over. Yeah, I bet. Over. Not much over, though. I mean, really, I like 8.3. Or 8.2. But it, is that under? No. You know what I mean? It's under, but... Not as much as it should be. Yeah. Right. You get so caught up in fucking shots and shit. <laughs> you don't even really care about the story in movies. You know that? <laughs> you get so caught up in like, damn, this zoom in thing is cool <laughs> as fuck. Or like, <laughs> like this set is dope. Like, I can't believe he decided to do that. Like, there's a 25 minute zoom out to start the movie and you're like, whoa, dude. This is sick. I really don't care that the movie's shit. This is dope. Dude. These are so creative. <laughs> when uh when when the dude who um who's in the wheelchair, he's the writer, is writing in the very first you know, the one scene. Yeah. The, you know, he's typing and then Alex knocks on the door and he's writing and behind him is the bookshelf and the, all the books are like just like perfectly placed. And then it and it doesn't pan, it like slides over. And when it slides over, it, it like brings in um, the wife who's sitting in this like futuristic chair. And then up the stairs, there's this like ledge of like hangout spot. And then there's another ledge that takes you up and around the corner of their house. And it just like, architect like architecturally, it creates what their home looks like and how it feels. And I was like, yes. Yeah, and you know what I was thinking? <laughs> Get on with it! <laughs> answer the door! We know you're going to answer the door, and also we know you're going to let him in. Right. Let him in. Yeah. 
Get on with it! <laughs> Get to the point! I swear to God, this movie could have been 45 minutes to an hour shorter. Yeah. Yeah. It's so frustrating. I can get that. I understand, you know, I after How watching these movies. Staring with you, out at the river for like twenty eight minutes, too long. it felt like. Too long. And then he gets beat up by the hobos for thirty minutes. And then and then the cops take him on like an hour journey mm -hmm. to put his head in water because mm -hmm. they don't like him anymore. Yeah, but the suspense of the trail. There's no suspense. We know what's gonna happen. The only thing, I knew they weren't going to shoot him because there was another fucking hour of this piece of shit left <laughs> that I had to watch. So they're just going to beat him up. Yeah. God. Can, can we watch some, like, fun movies or something? <laughs> this is such a bummer. I'm depressed. It's such a fucking bummer. Nothing good happens in the whole movie. He doesn't have a girlfriend. He doesn't yeah. fucking get, like, he doesn't make uh, amends with his parents. You don't like love interests. You don't like Give like me love something. Story. You know? I don't. You're right. I don't. But there's got to be something positive. Really? Or else, what are we doing? Just being depressed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, yeah. like why would I want to watch a movie just to be depressed? <laughs> Life's a drag, Yeah, man. it stinks. <laughs> I, you don't have to fucking remind me. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. But... And no, I shouldn't even say but. <laughs> I don't. There is no but. I was going to say, I get why some people like this. I don't understand why you would want to be this bummed out and then leave the movie theater and be like, wow. Dude, I wonder what people thought when they walked out of this I'm movie sure they theater. Were all they were fucked up and yeah, twisted. Dude. It was 1971. They never seen anything like this before. Yeah. 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 I don't know, man. <clears throat> Here's my question. Okay. Um, if you were going to be sentenced to prison for 15 years. Oy. What are you showing up in? What do you mean? Like clothes? Yeah, yeah. So when Alex shows up to prison, he's like wearing his suit. He's like dressed in like, I don't know, weird formal attire. I think you and have he, to wear a suit, right? Because you're coming straight from court. Oh, is that how that works? I don't know. You don't get to go home and change? I don't think they let you pick <laughs> out your jail outfit, no. I guess that's true. That makes sense. Oh, Okay. I was thinking, like, do you show, you know, you always see the movies in, uh, like, uh, Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, I was thinking right? about that, George too. George Clooney comes walking out of prison. With his Miami. And, like, he ends up giving him the outfit, and he's yeah. got, like, his pocket watch. In Rounders, right, yeah. Worm comes walking out of prison, and he's like, where's my toothpick, right? Because yeah. that's what he got locked up in. Right. You know? Like, what would be a thing that it would be like? That's a very Tony Marini thing to bring. I don't, I don't have any idea. You don't got nothing? No, I'd be dead because I'd kill myself because there's no <laughs> way to, I'm going to jail for 15 years. And not making that? No way, yeah. dude. Yeah. No way. That's a long time. Okay. Like, if you went to jail today, you wouldn't be out till you were 45. <gasps> Bummer. And then you couldn't really get a job. Dude, what does the world look like in 15 years? I right? don't know. Probably the same. Probably not. Well, it was 15 years ago. What, we didn't have iPhones? 2005. We had just gotten the iPhone. Okay, so it's the same. It's kind of different. Plus, now we have Twitter. And TikTok? Yeah. And VR? And yeah, augmented yeah, reality? Back then. Yeah, but I mean, not to scale. Right, but there's no, like, major... I guess you get, like, the HD TVs are better. So you're saying 15 years ain't bad and you could do prison for 15 no, years? No, I'm not saying that at all. Okay. That's too long. Fifteen years is too long for Tony to be stuck with his thoughts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a bummer. That would be a bummer. Yeah. Yeah. There's no. I don't think. Up. I don't think as a society we talk about the idea of prison enough. Can I bring something up? Yeah. Not to derail. No, you're fine. What happened last week with the video, dude? So, <laughs> I don't. This is new, man. You know what's interesting? I don't know though, what I'm doing. We don't have a guarantee that we have video right now. So we don't. I yeah. the the thing is flipped at like upside, and I can't see if it's recording or not. Yeah, got no idea. We've, we know that the first ten minutes recorded. Okay, that's cool. So that's cool. We finished last week, mm -hmm. and you we stood up after sitting out here in the cold, and then all <laughs> the worst thing to hear Sean ever say. Mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you know it's sincere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. So we didn't format the memory card, so we didn't have any video. Mm -hmm. But all episodes will always be published on YouTube, on YouTube now. So yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. cool. Um, 
it's just I'm excited, man, that we're on video. Yeah. It's cool. Hell yeah. It's super cool. I wish it was warmer. Dude, it's so cold. And Fuck. today it's warm, man. It's like 45 I today. Yeah. I know. So. Uh, all right. So there's a couple things. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you want to talk about the movie that we want to watch, or do you want to talk about Cyber Shindig? Well, let's uh, let's talk about the movie first, okay. and then what we what we have planned, and then we'll move into the to the to the cyber. Okay, I'll, I'll start. Okay, do it, because <laughs> this is this is definitely uh, this is both of us though. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be fun. Yeah, this is going to be really fun. But also, yeah, none of you fucks recommend movies anymore. So oh, okay, we're gonna just not do that for a while until somebody recommends a movie. Right. Well, we're punishing you. Yes, we're punishing this you. This is what you get. <laughs> you asked for this. This is your fault. Yes. This is your fault that so you're going to get this. In this. Are we still going to do new movies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So in, in the place of the recommended movie slot, mm -hmm. which is week... We are all Three. thrown off yeah, everything's now, messed actually. Up. Everything's messed Three up. Three or four. Yeah. Um, we're going to start watching uh, series is... Series is. Series is? Just series. series. We're going to watch a series. We're, we're going to watch the Fast and the Furious series. Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. Fuck. Yeah, dude. Yes. Yeah, dude. We're going to dissect the evolution of the Fast and Furious franchise. Yes. And the decline into the pile of shit it turned into. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. I'm going to try and find the I'm going to be so fucking hyped really? for the first three. <laughs> Just juiced out of my mind. There's so many good cars. Yeah. It's such a fucking fun movie, all three of them. Yeah. Dude, there's so many good cars. Yeah. Oh, my God. You know what I'm excited for, though, also, mm. is the back half of the franchise. I'm really excited for it. Like, what I it, truly am. Like, yeah. Obviously, numero uno, Jeez. it's going to be spectacular. Come on. No. Spectacular. Come on. But the back half, I think if you go in it with a good mind of being like, this is just going to be fun. Yes. It's going to be fantastic. Yes. I think they'll all be good. You know? Yeah. But it'll be interesting to see what it turned into. Yeah. Like it was an under, underground car racing movie mm -hmm. that turned into, how much dynamite can we get in there? <laughs> all right. A little more. Let's fucking blow shit up. <laughs> Let's blow shit up. Yeah, dude. Yeah, no, I, uh, I'm super excited. About yeah, that. so that's going to be really cool. <clears throat> but we're not going to start that until after next week. And next week, what we'll be doing is we'll be on, or no, we will be hosting the Cyber Shindig Boys on our podcast. Finally. Yes. Yeah. So they're going to pick a movie for us, and then the four of us are just going to do what we always do. Which Talk is shit. fucking watch a movie, and hopefully it's bad so I can rip the shit out of it. I can't wait. <laughs> Super excited. Yeah. I actually don't know what they're going to pick, which <clears throat> makes it interesting. I got no idea. Yeah. Uh, Mike was going with uh, the fantastic Mr. Fox. Yeah. What the hell is Dude, that? Dude, you're going to absolutely hate it. Yeah. I hope. I hope he goes with that. Although I want to have, I want to make sure that like Mike and Johnny also like the movie together. And I think, I don't think Johnny would like that movie either. Yeah, if it's just Mike that likes it, it's going to be a bad time. <laughs> no, because it'll be me for sure. I'm, it's, yeah, uh, you like everything. Um, it's like a, I, I think that's Wes Anderson ended up doing that flick. Oh, okay. Is animated or something? Yeah, it's like stop motion, I think, so it's like a claymation. Oh, no. No? You don't like, like Robot Chicken and stuff? Yeah, I like Robot Chicken, but that's different. That's not a movie. It's like 15 minutes. Okay, quick. And it's funny as hell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. But a movie, and it's called Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yeah, I think it's some like popular like story from the 70s or 80s or something, like a comic book, but not most certainly not like comic book-esque. It's more like different i don't know oh boy yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh boy. yeah, yeah. george clooney's in it george clooney plays the fantastic mr fox oh okay so that's kind of cool i think it's casted well i yeah. don't know i mean that <clears throat> still when you start going down that animation it, ne it doesn't matter who's in it dude you know what i realized after you brought this up and and i want to i want to reel back on what what you were trying to say and me agreeing to that i don't pick stinker of movies i don't think all the movies that i've picked in the last six months have been stinkers i don't think that i think that i have kind of like stretched the 
YHST episodes to include movies that would oh, be in your aren't peripheral. You, you know so what I mean? considerate. I'm giving you some with culture. Your dog shit picks. <laughs> That's your defense. I'm spreading myself out. You can't judge me. Don't judge me, Tony. My movies don't suck. I'm cultured. <laughs> Fuck you. Your movies suck. You know it. That, yeah. you, that's your defense? You had two hours and 15 minutes of the worst movie I've ever seen in my life, and that's what you came up with? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. And another thing I want to bring up yeah. is uh, Mike talked about COVID on fucking Cyber Shindig, yeah, so yeah. I'm good. Yeah, you're good. You're yeah, good. I yeah. felt bad about that for a while. <laughs> I did. I was like, oh, shit, do people care? Like, so... So we're good. And I think the description said uh, Mike decided to be a little COVID slut. Really? The YouTube description. Is that what Johnny put? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Mike loved that. Well, hey, yeah. sorry, Johnny. <laughs> I'm still fucking, I only got like eight friends. I'm fucking them up <laughs> constantly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right. So next week, hopefully, we're going to have the Cyber Shindig boys on. Uh, and then we're going to come from Johnny's studio because he's nice enough to host us because yes. we don't have that much room. If not, we'll watch Fast and the Furious and then have them on the following week. Yeah, but one or the other. Hopefully uh, hopefully we can have those boys on because I'm super excited about that. It'll be very interesting to have other people on this podcast. It's the first? Yeah, first. That's fun. Yeah. That's it monumental. Should be, should be fun. That's cool. Yeah. But, I'm looking uh, forward to that. I'll tell you what. Until next time. Ciao.